What's up, everybody? It's Chris from the Brajcast. Say it with me, the Brajcast. Back with another update on my Conseco collection. I'm going to keep it short, keep it simple. I've done this a few times and fucked up too many times. I'm about to get pissed, so let's just go through this. <laughs> As you know, I've been hunting the 83 Tops Rainbow this year. Looks like we've got base, base versions. Got that under wraps. We also have a blue version, non-autographed. We also have a black version, non-autographed. There is also a red and a gold. Apparently I don't have them. Looking through all of my stuff and I don't have it. I thought I completed it a long time ago, but apparently not. So if you have the red or the gold non-autographed versions of the 83 2018 throwback, let me know in the comments below. Maybe we can do some trading. But that's where I'm at on that part of the rainbow. They also come in autographed versions. I've got the regular right there. I've also got the red version covered right there and I've got the gold right there so those are the autograph versions let me try to get up here real quick they also are supposed to come in blue and black according to Beckett there is a blue or no according to Beckett there's no blue but there's a black of 50 and of 99 I have not seen those anymore if you know anything about that if that's an error or I'm just stupid and I haven't seen it let me know in the comments below because I really need to know I need to know how or when I'm done collecting this rainbow. So I've got these three bad boys sitting there too. Beauties. But don't you forget, I'm also a 5x7 collector. <laughs> so I've got the regular version. And then this 2 of 10 just came in the mail today, the gold. I have no idea if the red, black, blue, if any of those exist. If they do and you know about it, let me know please. So that's pretty much where I'm at on the rainbow there. We'll just keep with the rainbow themes and keep this one short. Got a 3 of 25 in the mail today to add to a collection. Got these bad boys. These are tops 5 star. If you look at that hair, that's an amazing boy band look. I mean, the, the, the weave is beautiful. We've got the 50 version in purple. And then my boy John Carlson out in Jersey. Had the of 25 for sale, so me and him hooked up, and I got that bad boy just the other day. John is the super Conseco collector. I thought I was fucking hardcore, and I thought Tanner was hardcore. Eh, eh. John Carlson's the man. If you want to see some pretty sweet memorabilia and unreal, unheard of one of ones, check out John Carlson's videos. Just look up Conseco Collection and you'll see it. You'll see him right there. It's his mug right in front of the camera showing you shit you've never even thought was possible. But anyway, he had this 3 of 25. Got that to me in one piece. John was actually kind enough to send me some extras since he knows I'm a big Jose Conseco collector. And I actually didn't have these. These are I'm a big fan of these 86, 87, and 88. Fleer just... Man, they have like what seems like 10,000 subsets of baseball's best and stickers. These are Captain Crunches right there. I didn't have those either. But John was cool enough to send me like three versions of each of these just, just for being awesome. So big shout out to John Carlson. Check out his videos. Check out his channel. You're going to want to subscribe to that. Dude's got some awesome shit. All right. So thanks a lot for all those, John. On the rainbow theme, I don't want to have this one go too long. Back on the theme, uh, this is nothing crazy. This is just a, a beautiful card. Um, it reminds me of the 90s so much. I think Tanner said that once, and it, and it struck a, a, a bell in my head there. It totally does. Um, as you see, the 88, 89 tops, all that, even the score versions of 88, 89, 90s, they're just kind of plain and blah. But then, just like the Zubas we were wearing and the starter jacket polos and the colors, we were, the cross colors, Carl and I, we were wearing all sorts of craziness. The cards were representative of it too. And this card, for some reason, I was 12. Maybe that's why it just speaks to me. I'm a big fan of this particular card. There's nothing cool about it except it's worth a million dollars to me and probably a half a penny to you. That's the awesome part about collecting. One man's trash is another motherfucker's treasure. Anyway, one day when I meet the man, after I bash forearms with him and take a picture doing this, I'm going to have him autograph this card and hopefully that uh, 85 Fritsch... I don't know what the hell I'm saying right now. I'm so excited talking about meeting the man. He has 85 minor league card that I want to get autographed as well because I already got the 86 rated rookie. Anyway, so there's that one. Real quick, we'll rifle through these bad boys. That's the Topps All-Star Cup. The patch feels really cool. Pulled that bad boy out when I got that first. There's that one. 
going on five minutes so we're just gonna rifle through this little pile real quick this is the legendary ones from upper deck this is like in the early 2000s that's the bat that's the jersey I think that's a little bit of a set right there so grab those two happy to have those to the collection I got a ton of versions of 89 tops I got a ton of versions of 90 tops of 91 I had the Desert Shield. The This one is now a pre-production sample. Yeah, 1991 pre-production sample. Found that floating around on eBay and I didn't have that one, so I grabbed that. Real quick, too, we'll just add an autograph here. We got the Top Salute. I saw the Platinum 101 go for about 268 bucks the other day. It raised a real ethical question. Hey, not ethical, like I'm trying to get deep and shit. But the platinum version of this card right here, the one of one, looks exactly the same. The only thing that's different is a little stamp here that says one of one. It might be a little platinum somewhere else, but other than that, it looks just like this. So that costs 10 bucks. I don't know if the stamp platinum one of one is really worth another 250 bucks to me. But again, everything is different for every collector. And then to stop or to end this video, got some Tops High Tech. That's from 2014 autographed on that man these are so awesome there's probably like seven different versions of those backgrounds you got cloud and wave and all sorts of cool parallels but eh, that's that oh no got one more tops finest refractor i wanted to show you that one got the intimidators pick that up for a buck look at that beauty look at that beauty i got a couple other ones i want to show you but i'm going to go ahead and end this video right here so i can clean up not make such a mess and not sound like such an idiot that way, maybe I won't have to film this thing seven different times before I can just get through it. <laughs> anyway, love you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll check you out next time.